Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to the final leg of the endurance race in Gran Turismo 2. Last time, we uh, we had the chance of giving ourselves a pretty significant lead, but oh no. Why would I ever make that easy enough on myself? I totally squandered the whole thing away and then uh, gave the Lotus a perfect chance to make this very interesting. Had I, you know, not spun out a few laps ago, we would have had a huge, huge lead. And then I would have, you know, been able to start my my uh, my quest of passing everybody. We've already passed our first car. We uh, we finally got the edge on the I what I'm assuming was an Alfa Romeo. It kind of looked like one. And so we got him out of the way, and then we got another car right here that's about to be my next victim. I'm getting very very uh, very uneasy about these last three laps or so. It's, it's not a very comfortable place to be because uh, the Lotus that's behind me, he definitely has a, fr uh, well, not a fresh set of tires, but a much more fresh set of tires than I do. And so it makes this last, you know, these last couple of laps very, very, very uh, uncomfortable on the grounds that if I make one just mediocre mistake, I'm probably going to lose. So I need to, I need to be insanely careful here, and I gotta be, you know, checking my rearview mirror about every 10 seconds just to make sure that he hasn't, you know, he's not trying to get the inside, the inside lip on me or something. Oh, this guy's going to the pit. See you later. Another victim claimed. I always get really, I get really uncomfortable going through that little patch of grass now because there are times that I've gone through that and it makes me like spin out. And that's the last thing that I can have happen right now because I really don't want to do this race again for any reason. Don't you dare started showing the signs that he might start spinning out on me. Couldn't have that happen. Okay, so we're definitely not going to... We're not going to lap everybody. There's still maybe a little bit of a chance that we could get the guy that's in... Well, I guess he would be in fourth place. We got it. We have a little bit of a chance at him, depending on whether he pits or not. If he, if he ends up not doing it, we're, uh, we're not going to be able to get him. Oh, God, he's so close. I don't like it. Uh, I just want this race to go away. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. Uh, not because I'm not because of the fact that I keep having to you know do it over and over again. It's just I can't take it anymore because there's so much tension right now. No, I don't like that. I don't like when I start to fishtail sideways like that. Oh my god. No. Yeah, you can take that. Suck on that. You can uh, put that nice little piece of hill on your pipe and smoke it in your butthole. Oh god. Okay, that that at least gave us a little bit of room. That was that was about the the best little thing that I could have done, especially cuz it like gave me like this weird little propulsion type thing going on there. It gave me a little bit of room to breathe. However, he's going to close that gap in about another lap or so. So by the time we get to the final lap, we're going to be we're going to be right at each other's throats again. Oh boy, I'm so uncomfortable with this with this right now. Two laps remaining. And then as soon as we get to the as soon as we see the checkered flag again, I'm gonna have to bust out my San Francisco Rush commentator guy uh, for that, because he always has he has like one of my favorite voices for like a commentator on a racing game. Even though there's not really a lot of racing games that actually have commentary in it. There he is again. He's coming around. He'll be coming around the mountain when he comes. He's trying to pass me and make me fucking pissed. I really hope he doesn't cause I'll have to do the race again and I probably won't film that. Okay, there he is. Uh, way, way in the back. Just gotta get some good old-fashioned clean-shaven turns here, and then we'll be all good in the hood. There we go. That was about as good as I could possibly get that. And there he is again. He definitely, he's definitely going faster than me right now. I will give him that. He's doing, he's doing a damn good job. If I could like get out of the car and congratulate uh, the other racers in this game, I would totally do it because I did not expect any of this at all probably been one of my most 
one of my most said things in the over the course of this uh, over the course of this endurance race is I did not expect this, or this was most unexpected. Oh God, here we go. No, don't do that. Don't you dare. Oh my God. Final lap. Yes, that's what the uh, that's what the old San Francisco Rush guy does when you when you hit up that final lap deal. He does it in like this really awesome, like ominous, cool, masculine voice. Final lap. Dun 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 dun. All right, can we do it, my friends? I'm really hoping so. I don't care what the margin is by, just as long as we win. Because your margin of victory has nothing to do with the quality of your prize car or really anything. As long as you win the damn thing, even if it's by .001, then uh, all is all is well. I'm gonna be honest with you right now. My my blood pressure is skyrocketing right now. The old the old the old uh, aortic pumps are really throwing the blood through my system pretty quickly right now. Even my tires are starting to get a little bit of that orange hue. Yikes. All I can hope for is just some solid turns right here. That's all I want. There we go. That was a perfect turn. That might have been the best turn on on that one in the entire race, which is really weird because you'd think that with some of the better, uh, some of the other laps with better grip on my tires, I would have been able to pull that off much, much better. But that was really about as good as I could do it. Here we go, the final stretch. Can I get through this turn unscathed? It looks like we're gonna be okay. Come on, baby! Hold him off! You must hold him off in the final stretch! Oh, God, I don't like where we are! Okay, we're good. We did it! We have completed the endurance race! The Lotus Elise 111S, you son of a it's surprising that that uh, that two BMWs actually were doing that bad of a job. Like BMWs are quick cars. I mean, they're sport cars. So for them to be doing well, actually, the one of them did just fine. But a 328Ci isn't bad. How I got in sixth place uh, really blows my mind. I think it's just probably it's really more probably about just the uh, the timing of uh, the timing of when it took pit stops is probably really more of what it is. Oh, we did it. I'm so happy that we got that out of the way. Look at that! 150,000 little McGillicuddies flying into my walletto. Yeah, look at that go. Let the saliva flow! New car acquired. Save game. You're damn straight I will. Let those small, slow-ass bars fill up. Fill her up, please. Fill her up. Ugh. I pardon. All right, guys. Well, as soon as this gets done saving, then we can uh, we can kind of review things a little bit. I can actually sit back and calm down for a minute. My blood pressure can return to normal, and then uh, here we go. Back out to the menu we go. Ah, uh, 167,000. That's just great. Oh, and the trophies there too. I think that the next one that we're going to do eventually is probably going to be the Seattle Circuit 100 Miles. That's actually. Probably the, the next shortest one. 100 miles really isn't that much. I think it's like 30... Well, I don't remember how many laps it is now that I think about it, but it's it's quite a few, but it's it's not too crazy. All right. This is our prize, my friends, the Denso Supra 99. Look at that bad boy. 686 horsepower. I think that you can get that thing well over, well over 200 miles an hour. I'm not going to do anything with it right now, though, so... What to do? What to do? Hmm. I'm actually, I'm actually kind of confused right now. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So we got mid-engine challenge. We got all these different options here. Hmm. Four-wheel drive. Is that what that skyline is? I kind of forget. I don't think that it is. I'm pretty sure that it's a MR. No, it's okay. It's rear-wheel drive. Um, alright, well we should probably figure out what we're going to do before I start going out buying cars and all this stuff with all, with all of our newly acquired things. Hmm. Dun 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 dun. Ooh. Wow, Butler's making a comeback there. Historic Car Cup, I could do that. That would be kind of a fun one to do. 300, uh, I don't know about that yet. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll wait on that one for a moment. 80 Sports Car Cup. 
We could do that. Or no, is that the muscle car one? Where the hell the muscle car one go? Is that back here? Yeah, the muscle car cup. I need the international A for that, though. Huh. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait on that. Because I can definitely buy one for pretty cheap. I, you can get muscle cars for pretty, in, pretty inexpensive. That's not the point, though. Um, oh, damn it. Hmm. There's so many options right now, it's just pissing me off. Um, well, we do have that Vitz. We could do the Vitz race, I suppose. Hmm. You know, I'm not even sure. I've been sitting here wasting too much time. All right, guys. Well, I know it's kind of a short episode. This is a little bit out of my, a little bit out of my element here. But when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Gran Turismo 2, uh, we'll kind of have a little bit of a better idea of what we're, of where we're gonna go from here. So I don't know whether we're gonna go after like a certain set of cup races or if we're gonna do like a manufacturer race or not I don't know I'll have to I'll kind of have to sit here and and contemplate it for a little bit so this is your host AMF 1534 saying thank you guys for watching and uh, I will see you guys next time take care bye